And yesterday, my guests from the Philippines took a 45-minute ride to Guangzhou in the new high-speed train. I'm glad that they're among the first customers of the new train. China's success is the immense importance it places on state-of-the-art technology. It comes at no surprise that the Chinese technology giant Alibaba is among the 10 most valuable companies in the world. And I think here in the Boa Forum for Asia Hong Kong, we should be proud that China's sense time, which is part of this forum, is the world's largest, highest valued, and highest valued AI startup company. So congratulations to China Sense Time. <laughs> Xiong Guan Kung in Beijing was often referred to as China's Silicon Valley. But recently, a business resource company, Expert Market, reported that actually Beijing has already unseated Silicon Valley as the top technology hub in the world. So congratulations to China for its innovation. <laughs> now that China has entered a new era, will the mainland be Hong Kong's main competitor for markets and jobs? I don't think so. The mainland and Hong Kong are more complementary than competitive. The mainland is strong in manufacturing. Hong Kong is strong in services. That will increase jobs for the youth of both Hong Kong and the mainland. The development of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and regional cooperation in the Pan Pearl River Delta. Most important, the central government of China is taking measures to make it more convenient for the young people from Hong Kong to have careers in the mainland. So no worries, Hong Kong will continue its growth and the young people of Hong Kong will continue to have more jobs in the new era of China.